Good morning. Uh, as promised, we will continue our discussion on big numbers today. And what I want to talk about is the Nuth up arrow notation. It's a way of recording very large numbers. Now, in general, a up arrow B is nothing unusual. It's just A raised to the B. But a double up arrow B. This means take B copies of A and up arrow them together. So, let's evaluate um, just uh, three, double up arrow three. This is three, up arrow, three, up arrow, three. Well, an up arrow is just an exponent. So this is three, up arrow, three raised to the three. And an up arrow is just an exponent, so 3 raised to the 3 raised to the 3. So a double up arrow is the same as a power tower. So A double up arrow B is A raised to the A raised to the A raised to the A raised to the A B times. All right. Now a triple up arrow. A triple up arrow. B is a double up arrow, A, and so on for B copies of A. It gets very big very quickly. Uh, let's see if we can evaluate anything like that. Um, and I'm just going to put a superscript to denote the number of arrows. So, three triple up arrow three, three, double up arrow, three, double up arrow three, would be three, double up arrow, and a double up arrow is a power tower, three, 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 okay, so, and a double arrow is a power tower, so we have three, 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 three. How many times? Three raised to the three raised to the three times. That's that's a big number. That's a really big number. All right, but it still doesn't even uh, get close to some of the numbers we were getting with the Ackermann function in the last video. So let me tell you a little bit about the uh, largest number. The problem. Uh, in which the largest number ever used in mathematics was used. It's a problem in what's called Ramsey theory. Ramsey theory has to do with the properties of something changing uh, as a number grows larger. For instance, uh, if you have a one-dimensional array, you know, zero, one, two, and you or <laughs> negative one, uh, and you randomly walk left or right on uh, this one-dimensional line, what is the probability that you'll get to 100 eventually if this is continued forever? The probability is 1. You will get anywhere, uh, no matter where you start, if you continue the random walk long enough. Same thing with a plane. If you uh, take a plane and randomly, you know, walk, you know, cho choose it by rolling a d4 or something, um, you will eventually hit every point in the plane. Probability one. In three dimensions, that doesn't work though. If you do a random walk in three dimensions, your uh, uh, probability of hitting a given point is less than one. I'm not sure exactly what it is, and I don't know the proof for any of this, but uh, I've heard of that result. So, um, n equals three is the first dimension in which it's possible to get totally and hopelessly lost. 
And that's uh, a problem of Ramsey theory. Ramsey theory uh, looks at properties that uh, come as, uh, well, dimensions get larger sometimes. So, one um, object that uh, changes as dimensions change is a cube or square. Here's a zero dimensional cube, here's a one dimensional cube, here's a two dimensional cube, here's a uh, two dimensional representation of a three dimensional cube, and so on. Now, if you draw a complete graph on the vertices of a uh, that's, that's going to look terrible. Yeah, that, that looks terrible. Anyway, complete graph on the vertices of an n-dimensional cube. And you take each edge of that graph and randomly color it one of two colors. There is some dimension beyond which every single complete planar four graph um, complete planar four subgraph uh, th that there there's always no matter what the coloring one with uh, that's single colored no matter what coloring you use now obviously uh, that doesn't work in two dimensions um, because you can color everything blue except this one red and then you have a coloring where uh, every uh, planar four graph the only planar four graph in this case uh, is not single colored. It doesn't work in three dimensions. There's a nice counter example on Wikipedia which shows a coloring, a two coloring of the edges of the cube in which uh, no complete planar four graph is single colored. We know it works for dimension four, the hypercube, Dimension 5, Dimension 6, in fact we know it works up, into d up to Dimension 11. And we do know there's a point beyond which it doesn't work. Beyond which any coloring gives us a single colored planar foregraph. But where's that point? Well, that's where the largest number ever uh, to be used comes in. And that was uh, an upper bound for that point. Graham's number it's often written G64. All right, it's the 64th iteration of a process. Let's just take a look at, well, let me say that G64 is defined as 3 up arrow G63 3. And in general, there's G63 of these up arrows. And in general, GN is 3 up arrow G n minus 1, 3, and G1 is 3, 4 up arrow, 3. Let's see if we can get some sense of just G1. It's a 4 up arrow. So G1 is equal to 3, 4 up arrow, 3, which is 3, 3 up arrow, 3, 3 up arrow, 3. All right, we did some work on this, and we know what it is. Three, three up arrow, that's this. It's a power tower of threes. And there are three, three, three of them. Wow. So, so, there are this many iterations of the power tower. Let's see if I can draw that. Three, it's a power tower of threes. Da, 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 da. Everything's going to be a power tower of threes. And this power tower is... The height of it is a power tower of threes, and the height of this power tower is a power tower of threes. And that process continues and 
ends with a three to the three to the three, but how many of these are there that um, three, three, da, 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 three, and there are three to the three to the three of these. Wow, that's a lot of threes. That's a huge number. That's a, that's a big number. Now, uh, I'm conjecturing, I don't know, I'm conjecturing that this number is between uh, the Ackermann function 6, 1 and the Ackermann function 6, 2. All right, if anybody wants to take a stab at trying to show that, uh, be my guest. Um, I'm sure you can get it to me somehow. Send me an email. Uh, all right. And so G64, Graham's number, the actual Graham's number. We've got three, four up arrow, three. And there are this many arrows. and so on, that many arrows. And so on. For 64 steps. The largest number that has ever been used in mathematics. There it is. I told you a bit about uh, the Ramsey theory um, and the problem in Ramsey theory in which this number came up. And uh, what I've been doing is trying to figure out uh, exactly how many of these planar four graphs are in uh, uh, each dimension of a cube. In a three dimensional cube, it's easy to see that there are 12 planar four graphs, uh, the, all the sides, and then there's things going diagonally through it harder to see uh, that in four dimensions there's exactly 100 and I've come up with a formula uh, that spits out the number of planar four graphs uh, for any hypercube in dimension n and uh, I'll present that uh, in my next video. Thank you. Have a good day.